Okay, ready to start off a brand new painting. Uh, this is the basement studio. I work down here in the winter time just because it gets a little bit too cold even with the heater in uh, my outbuilding studio. So what we got here is a 14 by 11 inch toned canvas. Uh, it's been toned with burnt sienna. So we're gonna start with the sketch as always and I got a few reference photos I'm looking at, different ones, but I'm just kind of looking at pieces from each of them. The idea in my head is I wanna have a simple ocean below and then more of a in-depth sky with big sunset cumulus clouds. So that's the idea. Uh, let's jump into it with the sketch. All right. I think we're going to leave our sky a little bit more room. So the horizon line is going to go right up in here. And then very, very simple waves that we got going on. Nothing too fancy. Just want to make a few lines. We'll get into the details a little bit later with that. Going to rely on my reference photos for what this turns out to be. Now I'm going to work on putting on those clouds. That's the most important part to me. Okay, so I'm thinking below here in the water, we're going to be having a little bit more detail and focus uh, as far as the water goes on the left side. So I want to have a big cumulus cloud more or less offset on the right side in the sky. I'm going to probably be doing a lot of changing to these cloud shapes as well. Alright, we got the sketch on. It's probably going to do uh, a lot of changing though as I get into it. Um, but this is the basic concept. But we're going to get into the blocking and lay down some color, put the shapes on, see what we like and what we don't like. Now I'm going to introduce a little bit of blue farther up in the sky. So we're going to start to blend that in.
Okay, that's pretty good. And even though I overlapped a lot of the cloud shapes that we had farther down with that sky with this big brush, that's not a problem when we put the clouds in, which I guess is the next step. Uh, we're going to reestablish those cloud shapes. But first, I actually just want to lighten it up a little bit. A little bit more down here. All right. Next up, I'm going to take a color that is just slightly darker than the background sky and start to paint in these clouds. Airing on the blue side. make it just a little bit darker on the bottom. I'm just painting in with the same color some other spots where I know shadows like that are going to be. Just while I have the paint on my brush. I'm gonna get some more yellow, I think. So lemon yellow is the yellow I'm using, even though I do have yellow ochre over here. I'm going with the lemon yellow because it's a little bit brighter. Okay, that's a nice orange color. I think I wanna darken it up with a little bit more red, which I need to add a little bit more red. So I got this brilliant red right here that I'm gonna use. Let me get some more of that. And I think that's a good color. We're gonna take that over to the canvas now. Okay, that's, I mean, that's, that's okay. It's a little bit too, I don't know. I, I wanna redden it up a little bit. So I'm gonna add more red. We'll just try that. That's a little bit better. The reason that this cloud is this color is because it's going to be quite a bit further away. So it's going to be much more subtle in the background. And as I get further down, I'm also getting further away in the sky. So those clouds are going to be a lot more influenced by that sunset lighting. So they're gonna end up being more orange, more red, etc. Okay, next we're gonna work on the water. So I'm just gonna put that in.
sometimes when you're painting, you just have to take a break. Your eyes are tired from looking at the same thing for hours and you just need to get your mind off the painting and do something. Cricket. Hey. So I did that actually several times with this painting and I uh, have my cat who sleeps over on this side and she was feeling particularly frisky so I just played with her for a little bit. This is something that you'll need to get good at especially if you are spending a lot of time painting. Maybe you have a painting session that is lasting hours. Take a lot of regular breaks. That way I feel like it actually allows you to be more productive. So go walk the dog. Go play with the cat, get some tea, whatever you do, get your mind off the painting. All right, everybody, this is the block in. Uh, pretty happy with how it turned out, especially in the water. Um, the clouds, they have a long way to go. I'm not quite sold on this cloud up here, so I might take that out. But one thing I noticed right away is the background really needs to be brightened up. So that's what I'm gonna focus on now. Now, as I put this background sky color in, I can really kill two birds with one stone because I can define the shapes of the clouds that are in there by chiseling around them with this background sky color that I'm using to lighten everything up with. Now, as I move up, I want to apply less and less of the yellow in there. The yellow is going to be for farther down. So as I go up, I'm going to start to replace the yellow in my mixing with more red and probably a little bit more blue. Uh, so I'm just going to give myself the heads up. No more yellow in the mixture. I want there to be less and less yellow up here. So as you can see, I took out that cloud that was above. I think I want to replace it with something a little bit more subtle. Um, so that's what I'm going to try here. guys this is a couple days later so the painting should be pretty dry by now uh, at least that's what I'm hoping for but I'm gonna come into the background sky here and work on these clouds a little bit more and I'm gonna do that with this is an old probably number two round brush with synthetic bristles so let's go ahead and work on these clouds
I need some more titanium white. some lemon yellow in there. Get a really nice bright orange, I think is what I'm looking for. Bright orange to yellow. Okay, I'm gonna take that and just put it right down here. We're gonna start to build our horizon with a little bit more brightness here and there. Now I'm going to take a very small detail brush and come into here with some bright highlights to go on the edges of these distant clouds that we've already laid down. And as I begin to get higher up in the sky with these background clouds here, I'm going to knock down the value of our highlight color just so that it's a little bit more dull up in here compared to that intense area where the sun is setting right down here. Now I'm going to take these highlights and bring them up to these higher up clouds and I'm going to be sparing but I, I think the only difference I'm going to make with the highlights down here and the highlights up here is I'm going to start off having them just a little bit duller than uh, the ones that I used up here. So these ones are the brightest highlights, get a little bit more dull and then the ones that I put up here are going to be just a little bit more dull uh, even than that. And uh, if I did my values right, then they still should stand out very well because uh, the background up here is going to be darker as well than the backgrounds down here. So that's the plan. Let's try it out. I don't want to just draw one big line outlining the cumulus cloud here. I want there to be variations. So altogether, 
I may skip over a few spots and also I might make a few spots thicker than others just so that there's some variation in that golden lining on the cloud. All right, that looks pretty good. The more I look at this cloud right here, the more I just think it needs something because, I don't know, it just it seems like it's a little bit raw right there. Like I have to do something to it to uh, touch it up before it looks like it belongs there. So I'm just gonna kinda keep that in mind as I continue working here. Alright, now I'm going to come into the water and start working on that. So I've gotten the ocean to a point that I am starting to feel like this cloud up here is causing the area in the foreground to be in shadow. But to communicate that better, what I want to do is I want to brighten up this spot right in here, almost as if the sunlight is getting through uh, this area here between these two clouds and hitting the spot right back here. So I'm going to take some, uh, basically some bright orange and put it right in there. That is going to do it for this one. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, God bless you all. We'll see you later.